How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student and today we're going to be talking about a pretty fun topic. I think uh, I could share a little bit about myself with you all and it's about my dead name or do I even have one? Now before I uh, start talking about myself, if you are a non-trans person watching this and uh, you clicked on it because the title looked interesting, I want you to know that it's never, ever, ever appropriate to ask a trans person what their dead name is. And sometimes I've even gotten even more offensive questions like, what is your actual name? What is your real name? Is that, and that, that's actually very problematic because our legal name, if that's what you actually meant, it does not represent our identities for most of us and we don't have a connection to that name that we are given when we are assigned a gender at birth. Capiche? So never ask a trans person what their dead name is because that is a very triggering, trauma-induced question that you could ever ask a trans person. I think it's one of the most, I guess, like, intrusive questions you could ever ask a trans person but for me my my full name is right here it's pronounced Benazir and I shortened it to Ben for the average person who talks to me and Benazir is actually a very very feminine name but nobody in the in the US knows that it's a feminine name it's very uncommon even in the parts of Asia that I grew up in and where it is a common name, but it's not really common. But the reason why I never changed my name is because of its history and a lot of things that happened with my name. When I first moved to the United States at about five, six years old, everyone had a really hard time pronouncing my name. I mean, it's uncommon. Even to this day, when people attempt to say my full name, most of the time they butcher it, they never do it right, they never they never give it the grace that it needs. They call it Benazar, Benazir, I don't know why they're adding extra letters to the name, but it's Benazir, it's pretty easy to pronounce and it's still pretty frustrating to me that people can't fully pronounce it, but uh, right now, towards most people, I like going by Ben. Ben is my preferred name. But when I was younger, there was a lot of kids who had a lot of trouble pronouncing my name. So one time on the bus during fifth grade, a, uh, a friend of mine started saying, hey, you have like a cool green watch, you're like Ben 10. So he started calling me Ben 10 for quite a long time. And this is before I realized I was trans. But for some reason, when he started calling me Ben 10, it gave me a lot of gender euphoria. And it started to make me feel really good about myself. So about a year later, when I transitioned to middle school in sixth grade, I dropped the 10 at the end of the name and just started going by Ben towards, towards my teachers. My teacher started calling me Ben. And it was just easier to go about being called that. And it was like transitioning super early in my life before I even knew that I was transitioning. But that still doesn't really answer the question on why I kept a pretty feminine name outside of the United States and why I don't have a weird association slash trauma with my name. Because I don't have an ambidext ambidextrous, <laughs> um, a non-binary name like Alex or Sam or I don't know, Gary. <laughs> the person that gave me my name is my late grandfather who died almost three years ago. He was a farm worker back in my home country of Bangladesh. I haven't seen him since I was maybe five years old since I immigrated to the United States and unfortunately he passed away before I ever got to see him again because my family couldn't afford going back to Bangladesh and seeing my family before he passed away. But he was a farm boy, he was uneducated, but he always wanted to be a doctor. And unfortunately, he never had that opportunity to become a doctor. But when I was born and I excelled in school, he always wanted one of his descendants to become a doctor. And he gave me the name Benazir. And my mom decided to go along with it and gave me that name. And the name means one unlike any other which honestly gives me goosebumps sometimes because I feel like that's what I am. I feel like 
I have lived up to the name that I was given. So in a sense, the name Benazir is a way for me to have a connection to my ancestors because I don't really remember or know of any of my distant family beyond my grandparents. A lot of them died in the Bangladeshi independence and a lot of them I've just been disconnected with since emigrating to the United States. So my name, one unlike any other, is my drive to keep doing what I'm doing right now, to keep educating, to keep being my best version of myself as I get older, while also honoring my ancestors and bringing pride to them. And to be honest, nobody in the United States, unless you actually know the name Benazir, you grew up and heard of the name, has no clue that it's a feminine name. So I, I honestly don't care. I don't care if I have a feminine name. It doesn't mean anything to me. The femininity has been stripped away in my own psyche. So that's why I don't have a dead name. That's why I'm proud of my name. And that's why I have no plans of ever changing it on my ID, ever changing it legally. My mom and dad even approached me after I came out to them, I was like, do you want to change your name? And I said, no, I do not want that. I want to honor the name that I was given because I have that connection with that name. Anyways, that's a little personal Ben history that I wanted to share with y'all. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you found the in information quite fascinating because whenever I share it with my friends, they're always like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> so um, please share it with anyone that may benefit from this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and the activism work that I, I do and some of the thirst traps I post. And I'll see you on the next video. This has been.